Rachmaninoff is perhaps most known for his music in minor, often on an epic scale of a classic tragedy. The second piano concerto in C minor, the third piano concerto in D minor, the prelude in C sharp minor. But he could also write beautiful melodies in major, as we will see in this prelude. This video is dedicated to my Patreon sponsor on the highest tier, M. Thurston. So the left hand starts the piece with accompaniment on this lovely G major chord. Swaying back and forth with a G major and the E which is a 6. So just a G6 chord and back and forth. So here again we feel this water element of uh, the uh, waves going up and down very calmly on the surface but still something going on underneath. And that's like a Barcarolle element. There is a famous Barcarolle from the opera repertoire, the Offenbach Tales of Hoffmann, the Belle Nuit aux Nuits d'Amour, uh, where it's the, exactly the same harmonic change. This is in D major and it starts like this. That one. And it's the same here, we have D with a 6, going back and forth. Uh, now in Rachmaninoff it's a little bit more poetic, not as straightforward. Uh, so it's a lot of work to get the balance right with uh, these notes in the 4th finger. And the, the rest of the notes really quiet. Now the right hand melody is sailing on this water. Really long line of a melody. Uh, in the middle, we pick up the bass in the left hand to get it more full. Uh, it's a typical Rachmaninoff melody, really long lines and just going on the scale notes. And the final echo here, echo. And now comes like a second idea of the music, the piece, uh, this leggero. So it's uh, a contrast, leggero is lightly or swiftly and the melody before has been sailing, kind of going upward and now this is kind of tumbling down in a gentle way, if you can say that. And finally reach back to the G major and now we get a little bit of melody in the left hand here. Well it's the right hand that plays it but in the low register. So this accompaniment is going through this whole section all the time uh, keeping the calmness. So now we get the melody again. Uh, it starts off the same. So here it's nice to do a, like a half lift with the pedal, so we can keep the bass note but get rid of these upbeat notes. And now the melody goes here instead. It's really beautiful and cleverly done. It's just the E in the bass now. So the same notes, but with the E in the bass, it turns into an E minor seventh chord instead of the G6. Kind of the inversion of the G6 chord. 
little bit more tinge of sadness. Now the second idea, uh, the leggero part. Now this is also continuing and finding a new direction. so nice we stay for a long time and it goes down in the register so it gets warmer and safer down here it's a little bit of melodic entries in the left hand some notes here you can bring forward if you want It's just a D major chord with a low bass and the third lovely sound, always a lovely sound. We have the chord like that and then some surface, G major 7th maybe. And then this idea picks up speed and we get a little bit of a cadenza here. Veloce is fast so it just takes off. up to this trill and this is like the heart of the piece the climax on this trill it's the same note D and E that we had the whole time but then it changes to E flat magical shimmering that appears here. So we get the return of the melody um, first in this register and then but it's transformed it in G minor instead of G major which is magical. major so there's some dark questions that are posed here in this interlude in minor but not too soon after this we get back to the safe major and now the same melody comes again and now it can it gets an even longer way to uh, get a nice conclusion and really blossom in the high register comes down again. And here we have a short coda. We get the leggero marking again, lightly. And here we get a little more, more movement, but still very quiet. With these thirds and a little bit more chromaticism, there's been like almost no chromatic uh, things before, uh, which is, you know, trademark of Rachmaninoff, chromatic harmonies changing. Uh, this has been very, you know, straightforward and uh, major, but here we get some. And this reminds me also of another piece, uh, Chopin Nocturne in G major, same key, uh, it's number 12. Uh, it's goes like this so 
So this is also a barcarolle element. So the barcarolle is the song that they sang in Venice on the gondolas when they were going in the canals, swaying back and forth. So you always have this, some kind of left hand motion and then thirds on top. So here we get a hint of that in Rachmaninoff with these thirds from this nocturne, I think. just fading out in the air in the end here. But coming down to the ground for the final chord in G major. Now a final tip if you like this type of soothing Rachmaninoff, because most of the preludes are quite fast and energetic and hard to play. There are only three that is in this type of calm and in major with a heartwarming and positive message like this. So other than this it's the one in D major opus 23 number 4 and the one in G flat major opus 23 number 10.